Hello, fifth grade, and welcome to our fifth math lesson this week. Today we're going to be working on changing, just like we did yesterday. But today we're going to be changing improper fractions into a whole or a mixed number. So what we did yesterday, changing mixed numbers to improper fractions, we're going to be doing the opposite of that today. Here's what it's going to look like. All right, now let's go back to our example of eating pieces of a pie. So let's say we've got a pie and it's been cut into nine pieces. And you are going to eat, or you did eat, 11 of them. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of pie. Well, did you eat a whole pie? More than a whole pie? Here's how we solve that out. Remember, we're going to use the same um, formula we learned yesterday, but now we're going to do it the other way around. So I'm going to take my numerator over my denominator, and that equals long division bar, numerator in the box, denominator out of the box, my quotient will be my whole number, and my remainder will be my new numerator. Okay, so let's put that into practice down on this problem. Well, if you ate 11 ninths of a pie, division bar, 11 goes in the box, 9 goes outside of the box. What's 11 divided by 9? Very good, it's 1. 1 times 9 is 9. 11 subtract 9 is 2. So I have 1 remainder 2. So now I'm going to write that as a whole mixed number. There's my fraction bar. One is my whole number. My denominator stays the same. And my numerator is what my remainder is. So out of 11 ninths, that means you ate one whole pie and two extra pieces. Oh my goodness. So 11 ninths equals one and two ninths. Let's do that one more time. All right, so let's keep that same formula. Numerator over my denominator equals my numerator in the division box, denominator out of the box. My quotient is my whole number. My remainder is my new numerator. Let's go back to my baking example like I said yesterday. So let's say you're baking and you use the half cup measure and you scoop flour eight times using that half cup measure. Well, just how much flour did you put in? How many cups? Let's put eight in the box, two out of the box. What's eight divided by two? Very good, it's four. What's four times two? Very good, it's eight. Eight take away eight is zero, so you have remainder zero. So, so I'm gonna write this as a fraction. Four is my whole number. Denominator two stays the same, numerator zero. Or, instead of saying four and zero halves, usually we just say four. So if you use the half cup measure and you scooped it eight times, that means you put in four cups of flour. All right guys, go ahead and put that into practice on your toucan fraction worksheet, worksheet number four today.